Here's the deal. A fog is an issue. We have more rain. It is over the East River into Manhattan now. Wind is an issue out on the island. Again, it's just more of the same. This very reluctant to go low just won't let go. Rain and fog and 55 wind out of the north at 10 miles an hour. See how it's backing up? Normally you think of weather from west to east. No, that has not been the case. So that heavier rain now leaving Queens into Manhattan. More for Staten Island. And then again, Jersey City, Weehawken, Secaucus, you're seeing, and those busy corridors coming and going both ways. More rain for parts of the Twin Forks. Follow that line. You have some heavier rain, better coverage. Sullivan, Dulst, uh, Sullivan Ulster into Dutchess County. Putnam getting a bit of a break, but then this continues to spin, and it has been cool, too. I mean, numbers right now, there's only about maybe a 7-8 degree spread from 50 to 58 in and around the area. It, just more of more numbers to kind of tell the tale. Look at these cool readings north and west. It's warmer than it was for most stations, but when you factor in the breeze, wind chills in the 30s and 40s upstate New York. We'll get a break Thursday and Friday. We'll see some nice seasonal numbers before cooler air from Canada will cascade through. Now, what are the models doing with the rain in the future? Again, we timestamp it here just to show you during the commute, bit of a break for Long Island. You're still dealing with wet roadways and slippery conditions, but the heavy rain shifts to the other side of the low between 9 and the afternoon. So after school activities, somewhat challenging again. You have to leave in the chance for for some brief heavy rain. I know the kids are not going to like this. Neither will mom and dad for pickup. And then by tonight, things start to improve with the leftover moisture. I think fog could be an issue Thursday morning, but Thursday by and large is a much better day, kind of therapeutic. Friday, though, here comes a front. So we'll leave in the chance of a brief shower, but then we see a break and a dry weekend. Additional rain just from today's rain could be between half an inch and an inch and a half, depending on where that heavy rain sets up this afternoon. Now, it has helped a little bit with pollen count, but grass and ragweed still moderate. Just remember, you're dealing with kind of raw conditions today, 59 with a chilly atmosphere and wet weather at times. The payoff, though, Thursday and Friday, back in business, mild again Friday before that cool air takes over. And we see numbers right back where we are today in the upper 50s and low 60s this weekend. But, Mary, it should be dry after today. All right, that's good to hear, John. Thank you so much.